far the most physically demanding and, and, and for many, many different reasons. Not only the physical contact and what you ask your body to do, but the, the continuous pounding, not just with your heels like a boxer, continuous bag work and sparring sessions, but now you're grappling and getting picked up and dropped. And it's, 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 when he says that this is the hardest thing that he's ever done, I believe the man. He's got some great training along the way. He's 43 years of age. He opened up his own Gracie Jiu-Jitsu gym in Tampa, training with Josh Rafferty, who was a contestant on the debut season of the Ultimate Fighter. So he's got the right people in his ear, whether he applies it inside the cage tonight against a veteran of 44 MMA fights remains to be seen. That's going to be the big question as Dave Bautista makes this highly anticipated mixed martial arts debut. And here we go. Here is the tail of the tape. Dave Bautista, 265 and a half, putting it out of Tampa, Florida. Vince Lucero, 22-22. 300 pounds on the dot from Casa Grande, Arizona. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official introductions. Gentlemen, we ask everyone to please rise to honor America and remove your caps. We welcome into the cage first the United States Naval Color Guard. And joining us also in the cage performing our nation's national anthem this evening is Music One. Let's hear it for Music One, performing our national anthem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention just outside the cage to my left here. We want to give a shout out to the Mix FM. These are the Brass Body Girls holding their mix signs for Dave Brass Body Bautista. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports, in association with June Entertainment and 401 Entertainment, presents your real pain main event. Tonight's main event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing, Racing and Athletics, Paul McGreevy, Director, Maria D'Alessandro, Deputy Director, and Christina Tobias, Chief Licensing Examiner, Racing and Athletics. And now, 
It's time for another classic main event. Tonight's main event is presented by the Universal Pictures film, The Man with the Iron Fist. Our main event is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Once the bell sounds, the third man in the cage in charge of all the action is your referee, Dan Mergliata. And now, introducing the principals. First, to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, this heavyweight weighed in at 300 pounds, representing Jab Fitness. This MMA veteran claims 22 professional wins from Casa Grande, Arizona. Here is Vince Elmaro Lucero. His opponent across the cage to my right, fighting out of the red corner. He tipped the scales at a fit and ready 265 and one half pounds, representing Gracie Fighter Tampa, this former six-time WWE World Champion, trains in Tampa, Florida tonight, making his professional MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dave Brassfly Batista. Three five-minute rounds in our main event, heavyweights. All right, Scott, here it is. It's finally here, the long-awaited yes, mixed martial arts debut of Dave the Animal Bautista. No easy task, taking on the veteran Vince Lucero. 44 fights under his belt. And what a specimen Dave Bautista is. Former bodybuilder, actor. And now he looks to try his hat in MMA, and he's been training. Here we go. There it is, round number one. The boys are squaring off. Bautista's got his hands up high. Short right hand. Sarah comes in right away with the right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. He lands two big rights. He's landed two or three big Batista rights. with the knee. Third, a fourth. Well, Sarah just letting him oh, hang out the top. He's doing exactly what you would expect somebody who took a fight on short notice to do. Exactly. Go in there. Very quick. Go out. Yep. Whatever you have, you throw. Now, Baptiste is doing a really good job. Over hook. Stop talking and fight is what was instructed by the... Uh, by the official Dan Megliata. Interesting. Batista certainly needs to show up the defense, but he caught two big right hands early on, and here he is with his back pressed against the cage. Lucero trying to use his force. As you can tell, though, Dan Megliata can't see it, but Vince is actually holding the cage underneath. Now he's letting go. Now he's got the right hand free, and they're throwing the exchange. Here we go. Here we go. The center of the canvas. Straight left hand, another left hand. Big right hand. left by Lucera. He's landing. Right leg right hand. Another big left hand from Lucera. Batista needs to throw his hands. He's throwing great kicks. There's a right hand by Batista. Smear teeth by Batista and a right hand counter by Vince. Left hook, right cross. Another left hook, right cross. Batista looks to clinch up. Vince is using a cross face to try to keep Baptista from pulling him in too tight. You know, Baptista is certainly leaving himself open for these shots, Scott. He's walking right into these left and rights from Lucero. And he's walking through them, so I guess there's a little bit of both. You gotta wonder if Lucero can really hurt him if he catches him on the chin. Let's, I think that anybody can be hurt at this rate with these short gloves. And let's, let's also realize that with the man did with WWE, he's used to getting some shots. He's yeah. used to a little bit of live stuff. So, um, and, and of course, in training, I'm sure he's just a hell of a lot of live stuff. Batista now working that knee to the midsection. He got one off big. Nice elbow by Batista that just, just missed. Now Vince reverses on the clinch and pins Batista to the cage. And Lucero just flipped it around nicely and pressed and him right And Vince back. is waving to the crowd <laughs> as this is happening. He's loving it. I mean, this is the show of a lifetime, and Lucero is soaking it up. And they got to break this one up wisely. Baptista needs to get his hands up, and Dave now switches to a lefty stance. Interestingly enough, he shoots right in for the takedown, and he gets it. Big takedown by Dave Batista. We were waiting to see if he had that in his arsenal. Well, we expected it as well. Now he's stepping over from his right knee to try to pin down Vince's arm, and this is where Vince could be in a lot of trouble. We'll see if all that training at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu has paid off in Tampa. Well, Dave's looking to isolate both arms and then rain down punches, I guarantee you. 
toes, and Allen's is slightly off. Dropping that hammer fist down on Lucero. 40 professional fights at heavyweight, he's been here before. And now, Dave Baptista has him out. He looks like he's going to get the back. This is a very big guy. He might not try the back, though. It's tough to get too much on the curve. Yeah. Dave might think about staying inside control here. There's a lot of girth he's giving up. Big right Good hand. Right hands, good right punches. Vince is working to defend. Baptista is trying to flatten him out. He does have good... He's doing a really good job. He has him on mount, but from the side. So maybe where the girth doesn't come into as much. You can see where the knees on on the ground. Landing some left hands now. Jay Magliata really right up in this to see what's going on. That left arm under. He has it under under his neck. It looks like he's going to try to go for a rear naked. But no, he lost that. Now he's throwing punches. So he had a couple of those. Zero the has head. the answer. These punches are coming in from both sides. He's going to stop the fight if this keeps up. This might not last much longer. Two or three more punches. That'll That's be it. And Dave, the end of a Batista wins his mixed martial arts debut. The official stops the bout with just under a minute to go. And Batista throws some taunt to Lucero. Why was he upset? I'm not quite sure. Miss well, I mean, miss we might find out afterward. But Dave Batista does win in his mixed martial arts debut. And Lucero kind of shot back at him. He has some choice words for him in the end. I'm not sure what went on in the exchange on the canvas. Maybe not happy with some of the showmanship by Lucero when he had his back against the cage. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know if it was that if he even saw it. I, I think we're missing something here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Wow, Lucero. Ah, oh, they're both going back and forth. Well, back and forth right now, Batista. This is turning into a WWE event, sort of. But Batista with his arms raised in victory. The crowd not too happy with this guy. No, not at all. I, I'm not quite sure why... Dave's upset over something. I didn't see it. Well, if there's a replay, I don't even know where to rewind it to. We'll find Maybe out. Maybe Joe Lozon, when he does his right. post-fight interview, we'll, we'll have a better understanding. We will certainly find out from Joe Lozon afterward what went down to spark the exchange between Vince Lucero and Dave Bautista. In any event, it's a victory for Bautista. Well, let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. Change at the end. Let's set it down to Joe Lozon for the official okay, post fight interview. Uh, so, so, what do you think your first MMA fight? How'd it go compared to how you expected it? I think my nerves got the best of me a little bit. Uh, he hits like a fucking horse. He, uh, <laughs> he rocked me and I, I was just, I didn't know how my legs come, uh, under me coming out. I was just so nervous. But once uh, it took me a little bit to get my composure because I was just rocked. Uh, so, so when do you think you want to fight again? You know, something you want to do right away, or wait a little bit, or what do you think? No, I want to fight again, for sure. I think, you know, it was, it was a matter of getting this first one out of the way. Get out, you know, you guys will tell you I was just so nervous. I had so many butterflies coming out. But, you know, I think it got the best of me a little bit. I, I think you handled butterflies pretty well. I'm better than I showed tonight. I, I, I think you handled butterflies pretty well. You know, I think you showed, you know, a lot of skill, and, you know, congratulations. First of all, bear with me because I've waited a long time for this interview. Uh, I want to thank my team because, uh, you know, regardless of whether this win or not, this win is win, really insufficient. I mean, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, Vince wasn't even the guy who signed up to fight anyway. But obviously he's a vet. He knew what he was doing. He wasn't nervous. But my team, my accomplishment was in my camp because I believe I gained the respect of my team. Uh, so I want to thank my team. Uh, Josh Rafferty, my head coach. Mateus Andre, my jiu-jitsu coach. Rob Rafferty, my boxing and conditioning coach. Eric Alberson, my wrestling coach. And Ricky Montiel, my sports psychologist. <laughs> uh, my training partners. 
probably the best training partners in the world for this camp. Uh, starting with Chili Dog Willis, Alex Sonauer, uh, Big Harry Smith, Big Great Boy Kyle Rasmussen, and my main man, who's going to beat the hell out of Anderson Silva next week, the American cyclist, Stephen Bonner. I wish you were here. Oh, my dog. Justin McCauley. Thank you, baby. Thanks for all the inspiration. Dave Bautista victorious in his mixed martial arts debut, along the way to mixed martial arts debut, and here is the replay, as you see Bautista just raining down punches, Scott. Yeah, he has his underhooks in, he's doing the ground and pound, and he's not responding to it, so of course they're going to stop the fight, and to Dave's credit, I mean, he did get mount, you know, and he did very well on the takedown. I don't know what this transaction is, I didn't see it, No, uh, I'm not quite sure what this exchange means, I think maybe he was complaining about getting punched in the back of the head a few times. But, I mean, um, that's that's just what I saw with, with Vince pointing to the back of his head. So, um, a successful debut for, for Dave Baptista in MMA. Well, there you have it. The Baptista party rolls on as he makes a successful mixed martial arts debut. Of course, you're going to see more of Dave Bautista on November 2nd when the Universal Pictures film, The Mail at the Iron Fist, comes out and hits theaters worldwide. But for tonight, Scott, we had a dynamic card from top to finish. So many great fights. UFC veterans, some of the best in the region. We saw Mike the Beast Campbell come out strong tonight. Out of this entire card, I believe we've had four decisions. Four fights worth the decision, Mike. Phenomenal matchmaking. And of course, you saw John Doomsday Howard against a game opponent in Brett Chisholm rebound and get that knockout win, opening Absolutely. out the cut over Chisholm's eye. Dave the Pro Loiseau, also a UFC veteran, perhaps maybe on his way back to the big stage after beating Chris McNally tonight. Sour Amida, Calvin Cater, one of the top fights, possibly a main event anywhere. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. Cater comes in tonight, gets the victory. So many big fights. We had the heavyweights in attendance tonight as well. 13 fights overall, but at the end of the day, it came down to Dave Bautista making a successful debut in mixed martial arts with the knockout win over Vince Lucero. I want to thank the DirecTV pay-per-view audience. I want to thank Universal Studios, Classic Entertainment and Sports, and the Dunkin' Donuts Center. For my broadcast partner, Scott Reem, this is Mike Parenti signing thank you, off. Thank you, Mike. We friend. will see you again at the fights.